Welcome. So we have here a new RC circuit now with a battery. And so we are trying to charge this capacitor. We have some natural resistance in the wire. So our capacitor is going to start out with a charge of zero. So we can say Q of T equals zero equals zero. And then eventually it will charge all the way up to what the maximum the capacitor can charge to. So at time equals infinity, it would equal Q max, which would be equal to C times E, or V, of the battery. So we can do a loop rule for this. And if we do the loop rule, we get that our EMF minus R times I of T minus Q of T over C is equal to zero. And then we're going to solve for I of T, which is equal to DQ DT, which we've shown in a few previous videos. So this will give us DQ of T DT equals negative one over RC Q of T minus C times the voltage of the battery. So what can we do with this? Well, what we can do with this is we can use a U substitution. If we say that U is equal to Q of T minus C times the volt EMF of the battery, then DU DT is equal to the derivative of this DQ DT and the derivative of a constant, which is the capacitance times the voltage of the battery, is zero. So now we have du dt equals negative one over rc u, which looks very, very familiar to what we did with the capacitor discharging. So then very, very quickly we get the deriv or integral of one over u du equals the integral of negative one over RC dt from some ui to uf, or ti to tf, and ui to uf. And so this gets us the natural log of uf over ui equals negative t over RC. And so we get then that the u as a function of time equals u naught e to the negative t over rc. Well, now we can go back into the substitution. And so we can say that q of t is equal to u naught e to the negative t over rc plus c times the voltage of the battery. So this is a good start for us. But now we can use our initial conditions. We know the charge at time zero equals zero. So we have Q of T equals zero equals zero, which is equal to U naught E to the negative T over RC plus C times the EMF of the battery. Well, our T has to be zero. So this whole E to the negative zero over RC goes to one. So now we have zero is equal to U naught plus C times the E of the battery. So then our U naught must be equal to negative C times the EMF of the battery. And we get our final solution of Q of T equals C times the EMF of the battery. We'll move this to the front, so one minus e to the negative t over rc. And so this is for a rc charging circuit. We can also take a look at a LR charging circuit. So for an LR charging circuit, we would have our battery, the switch, a resistor, 
and an inductor. So at this point, we don't have any charge to care about, but there are initial conditions that we can still care about. We can care about the current. So the current at time t equals zero should be zero. We have nothing going here. And when the it flips, we should have then this resisting any current initially happening. So I of t equals zero will be zero. And the current eventually at t equals infinity should be the maximum. Well, if this is still the EMF of the battery, if this is still L and this is still R, then the maximum is going to be the EMF over R. Because as the current eventually tops off, this inductor will do nothing. It won't drop voltage. It won't affect anything in any way. So we can again use our loop rule. And so we'll get a very similar approach to what we had over here, E minus R, I of T, except now we have an inductor, so it's L di of T dt equals zero, and we'll solve for di dt. So then we get di dt is equal to, well, bringing this over, negative r over l times i of t minus the emf over r. So we can do our own new u substitution, but just so we don't confuse it with the u substitution, we're going to call it a w substitution. So we want everything in this parentheses just to be w. So we're going to say that w is equal to the current as a function of time minus the emf over r. This gives us that dwt dt is just equal to di dt. So after plugging in that substitution, we get dw dt equals negative r over l w, which gives us w equals w naught e to the negative uh, t divided by L over R. So now that we have this, we can do our initial conditions again. So we know that our current, or sorry, first we have to go back to this. So then we have that I of t is equal to W naught e to the negative t over R time constant L over R plus the EMF over R. And now we know that our current at time t equals 0 is equal to 0. So we have W naught e to the negative 0 over our time constant plus the EMF over R. And so then right, this all still goes to 1. And we get that W naught must equal negative EMF over R. So we're going to get a very similar solution as to what we got for our capacitor, that the current as a function of time is the EMF over R times 1 minus e to the negative t over this time constant tau, where tau is equal to L over R. And this is for our LR ramp up circuit. So with both of these, we are able to do a U substitution to take a ugly looking differential equation and just go straight back to doing uh, separation of variables. And we're able to then solve. We do have to remember to always write down and then use our initial conditions. Otherwise, we won't be able to get rid of things like u naught or w naught. But once we do that, we sometimes don't even need both of them. Sometimes just one works just fine.